Now let's walk through how we actually do this translation and what bits go where. So how do we do a page table lookup to translate from a virtual address to a physical address? So here's our page table, here's our virtual address, and our physical address. So our virtual address size is set by the ISA, and our physical address is set by the amount of RAM we have installed in the machine. So let's take a look at how this works. So the first thing we want to remember is we have this pages that are larger. So in this case, we have a four kilobyte page. So we've got 12 bits for our page offset. So that means that these lower 12 bits, the page offset, they're not translated. They just go straight through. So that leaves us the remaining 20 bits of the virtual page number that needs to be translated into 16 bits of the physical page number. How do we do this? Well, we're going to use the page table. So we take the virtual page number, we put it into the page table, we look up that virtual page, and then we get out the physical page that corresponds to it. So inside the page table, we're going to have an entry for every single virtual, ad, virtual page. And for each of those virtual pages, we're going to have the physical page number, or if it's not in memory, something that tells us it's on disk. So each one of these is a page table entry. It tells us for a particular virtual page, which physical page it's located at. And if you notice here, we have different number of bits. We have 16 bits for each of these entries. But we have 20 bits for each of these entries. And that's because we have more virtual pages than we have physical pages because we have less physical memory than we have virtual address space. All right, so let's take a look at how this works. We take our virtual page number, we go and find our entry, and that entry goes down to be our physical page. For the page offset, we don't change anything, it just goes through. So virtual page, translated physical page, page offset untranslated, and the page table here needs to keep a mapping for every virtual page number. So remember, this is why it's important that we used pages. So now we have a million entries here instead of having a billion entries here. Let's take a look at an example. So here are the bits. So the page off says first 12 bits, and then we've got the remaining 20 bits here. And down here in our physical address, we've still got 12 bits here and the remaining bits here. Now we're going to translate this virtual address. So the first thing we do is we look at the 12 bits that are page offset. Those aren't going to be changed. They just go straight through. Then we can look at the remaining 20 bits that are virtual page number. So here's our virtual page number. We're going to take that. We're going to look it up here. Here's our entry in our page table. This is our page table entry for that virtual page number. We go ahead and select that. That's going to tell us what the physical page number is. Take the physical page number and get the result out. And so now this gives us what our translation is for this address. So the virtual address 00003204 translated to 0006204 for the physical address. Here's another one. So here's another virtual address. And here's a question about it. What do we get when we translate this virtual address? Well, here we're going to have to get it from disk. Because if we look at what the page table is going to do here, it's going to take the virtual page number here, which is 0. And if we look up virtual page number 0, it says it's on the disk. So let's walk through this. So the first thing we do is we take a look at our page offset here. Page offset is going to go through, and it's not going to be changed. So it stays the same. Then we're going to look at our virtual page number. So our virtual page number here is all zeros. We go and look that up. And well, here's our, virtual, here's our page table entry for this virtual page number. And if we look at it, it says it's on disk. So we can't actually get a physical address for this because this data is on disk. We have to go to disk and load it. Now let's take a look at 64 kilobyte pages. So if we have 64 kilobyte pages instead of 4 kilobyte pages, how many bits do we need to use for the page offset? Well, we need to use 16 because 2 to the 16 is 64K. So we're going to use the lowest 16 bits here, so bits 15 through 0. And then now the virtual page number is just going to be the remaining 16 bits. Now we're going to have the same thing down here, the page offset. For the physical address is now going to be 16 bits. We have even fewer bits for the physical page number. So if we go ahead and do a translation with this, we're going to have many fewer bits in here. So as we saw here, here we have 16 bits for the virtual page number. So our page table is now going to be indexed by 16 bits. So we've made our page table much, much smaller by making our pages larger. And then each one of these is going to have less bits for the physical page number because we have fewer physical pages. So by making larger pages, we have fewer entries in our page table, but we have to deal with data in a larger bunch. This now means that we have 64 kilobytes of data on disk instead of just 4 kilobytes the way we had it before. 